Alright guys, it's time to do some guitar recording for the Orpheus album. Um, basically we're just doing some DI recording, basically recording guitars clean into the computer and then running that through our amp later when we're happy with all the recordings. Basically we're using two main guitars on the album and then a couple of other ones for some leads and all that. But basically the main guitar for rhythms is going to be my Jackson SLS3, which is a mahogany body guitar, maple neck through, ebony fingerboard, string through body, and essentially instead of the stock pickups that were in there, which were... Uh, <clears throat> JB59 combo. I have put in two Seymour Duncan blackouts. So the blackouts will be the main ones for the rhythm this time. We've also got Joao's nice brand new ESP Eclipse 2 that he recently got. Um, I believe that too is a mahogany body. I think it's a mahogany neck as well with a flame maple top, I believe it is. Um, he's basically running two EMGs. I think it's just an 81 and an 89 set. That's basically going to be used for all the guitar overlays and any extra parts that we're sort of adding on top of the main rhythm tracks. <clears throat> um, apart, apart from that, we'll basically just try an assortment of um, ESPs and Jacksons for all the lead parts and anything else we feel that we need to do. But that'll be the main guitars for that, so it should sound fucking thick. <laughs> So for recording all of this crap, we are basically recording all of it at home and then reamping later, as I said. So some of the essentials are 9 volt batteries. Lots and lots of 9 volt batteries for all of our active pickups and active EQs in the bass and whatnot. Lots of strings. We're using, uh, uh, what is it, 12 to 60? 12 to 60, fuck that is pretty heavy, I didn't even realize. So we're using 12 to 60 gauge in drop B. Um, they seem to be serving us pretty well. They're pretty good strings. Diodario, woo, we use Diodario. And of course... Lots and lots of picks. This is only just a few picks. I need to go out and buy more. But there will be something like 100 picks, I'm sure. Um, I really hate using blunt picks. So as soon as the tip disappears off them, they pretty much get changed. So they get changed about as quick as the strings do, which is pretty much once a song. And um, the most important thing to get you through guitar recording, Milo Serial. Guys, get out there. Buy that shit. It's fucking great. Keeps me going. I'll have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if I fucking have to. And um, this one is the... Duo, the Milo Duo, which comes with the Milo chocolate and the white chocolate bits, which are pretty fantastic. Um, Alright guys, what we have in front of us are the amps that we're going to be using to record the album. Basically we're using my Mesa Boogie Mark IV for all of the rhythm stuff. Um, it's not as saturated or as grindy and all that as much as like a Rector or a 5150 or anything like that. But um, that's not really the um, tone we're sort of going for on this album. We're going for something a little bit darker, a little bit more um, tighter sounding I guess. Uh, it's a very, very, very tight sounding amp, but um, I love the voicing on it, it sounds great. It's an old amp, it's from the 90s, but it's absolutely fantastic, and if anyone hasn't had a chance to play one yet, have a go, they're fucking awesome. We're using my Mesa Boogie 4x12, which is the, I believe, the oversized cabinet. It has, I think they're custom V30s made for Mesa or something along those lines. <laughs>